Dr. Ni Madawa. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. You attended uh, today's International Symposium on Influenza Pandemics in Asia. In fact, you were one of the speakers. What, what, was the, what was one of the more important lessons that you learned from this forum today? Yeah, this is actually uh, in different countries. The etymology, uh, control measures were totally different. Uh, but the aim was one, just to control to prevent people to be ill or uh, died. Therefore, uh, the experiences from the developing countries were very learningful for us. Because sometimes the experiences in uh, more developed countries are very difficult to adjust in the conditions of developing countries. Therefore, experiences in Indonesia, experiences in uh, Thailand were very learningful. And uh, they talk also very frankly. Uh, this was very nice. So you will go home and you will see what can be done about some of the experiences that you shared in this yes, forum? Yes, of course. Uh, the, uh, for example, in Indonesia, the coordination was seemingly very good because it was in hands of the president of the country. This is the top decision maker. This can be very top coordination. It's good. In uh, my country it was not the case and therefore we will try to influence on more top decision makers to be involved in this activity. Is, are the people in Mongolia involved in making decisions about something like H1N1 pandemic? Oh, yes, yes, this was actually. Actually, uh, this time the pandemic preparedness was uh, quite long lasting. But uh, I will say wrong directing, yeah, because it was the ma main concern H5. Suddenly, in April, we have changed the direction. Mm -hmm. This was just uh, a difficult thing to manage. So what, what will you do for the future? Uh, how, will, how can these lessons learned be applied? Uh, this is the actually uh, many people say it. And also I am uh, in this direction. I am a medical virologist. Uh, therefore, the irregular surveillance must be very vigilant. Uh, this after detection of the pandemics, this is mostly the control activities, non-medical interventions, but the regular screening, what is going on among the patients with acute respiratory infection is very important. Now it is not only human beings, also the animals, especially domesticated animals. But uh, the, we will still need more studies about this animal-human linkages. Yes, yes. This is uh, still we uh, don't understand the influence of virus. This is very flexible virus. I think uh, the coming uh, pandemics was uh, after 40 years, but. Uh, I suspect the next pandemics we will not wait 40 years, mm. maybe. You think you think it will be more more uh, rapid change. Rapid is it because of people now travel easier? Uh, this is uh, also people are uh, the uh, people and animal contacts are easier, and also the so-called. <coughs> industrialized uh, animal husbandry, poultry, is changing totally the microbial ecology, not only uh, influenza virus, salmonellosis and others. Do, do you agree with one of the proposals today that there is a need for better coordination among countries, that we need a kind of a global mechanism because yes. this is a global problem. Yes, yes. This is the not only in this pandemics. In everything, the world is becoming smaller and smaller. Therefore, it must be real good governance 
to be effective to tackle different uh, challenging problems. You know, all this time, the effort towards coping with the pandemics has been in the hands of the government most of the time, also with international organizations. But there, there are NGOs out there, there are uh, private organizations like Sasakawa Peace Foundation that can help and want to help. What role can they play? Yeah, there's a lot. Of, uh, for example, in my country, during recent pandemics, the NGOs, companies were very supportive to healthcare workers. They have worked over time, two months. And uh, the lot of companies, a lot of voluntary funders has offered to support us morally and uh, materially. Uh, Sasakawa Fis uh, Foundation is doing more global things. Yeah? Uh, this is very good to hear and to mobilize non-governmental organizations because there are a lot of power. And I'm very happy to say uh, the sister organization with Sasakawa Fis Foundation, the uh, Nippon Foundation, has supporting in my country the uh, so-called uh, Family Drug Store Fund. This is in Japanese, they call Toyama Okigusuri. Uh, this was uh, initially not uh, uh, aimed on the control of pandemics, but in my country, uh, during this uh, recent uh, pandemics, because of short deficiency of the antivirals. These drugs has helped a lot of to families, households. Therefore, I will thank the Nippon Foundation for this good initiative, which is uh, maybe uh, half forgotten in this country, but is helping to poorer countries.